Hi, I'm Willie and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm really excited to talk to you about NetTool. I've partnered with NetTool and so a little later on I'm going to flash a coupon code if you decide you like this product. So uh, first let's talk about NetTool and what it is. So NetTool is this little device right here and it allows you to plug into a switch on a, on a network and pull information about the switch and about the network. Why is that important? Well, not everybody documents. And some places have more than eight ports, some places have thousands of ports. And if you're in there working and you have no documentation, you're going in blind, this could be, as far as portability and ease, this could be your best friend. Uh, I'm sure people are gonna say, well, you could do it with this and you could do it with that. You should see how little this device is. And I'm actually gonna show you that when we do the unboxing. Real quick, we're just going to skim over the site here real quick. We'll come back to price later. Like I said, you're going to get a special coupon code at the end of this video since I've partnered with NetTool. And I do want to let you know that they have not paid me for this. I bought one of these devices and I thought so much of it that I wanted to do this video and I reached out to them and to, to form this partnership. So we're going to see where it leads. But real quick, let's talk about what it can do. It can detect information about your network and then you can share that information via text message or any app such as email, Evernote, Slack that can uh, take a text input. It can run in uh, access point mode if there's no Wi-Fi available so you can still connect to it with Wi-Fi on your phone or if it's plugged into the network and it grabs an IP address then you can connect to it that way over the network if you're connected to that same network via Wi-Fi. There is an app that comes for Android and iOS. We're going to show you that. You can run ping tests or ICMP. You can allow people to remotely connect. So you could have one of these at each of your locations and configure them so that you can connect to them remotely. So if you're not even in the building. So you can keep an eye on things that way and it's got a really nice slick interface to allow you to do that. It will detect 802.1Q or tagged VLAN packets. It can also detect the native VLAN. It can de detect and pull information from CDP or LLDP. So that is discovery information. And it includes a switch port, native VLAN, switch host name and IP address. You will get an IP if DHCP is running on the network. So you'll see the gateway, the DNS server, uh, the subnet, LACP, so it can detect uh, link aggregation um, or lags. So if you bond ports together, it can see that. It can see spanning tree on the, on the switch port, so 802.1D packets. It can see if quality of service is running on a port and I saw that it can also discover PoE. The nettool.cloud service is what allows you to uh, remotely connect to the device. And the nettool operating system, it is a special version of Linux that they created to run on this device. And if you know how powerful Linux is, take it, throw it on a device the size of uh, a pack of chewing gum, plug it into a network and watch what we can do with it. You know, you'll see other videos in the future uh, where I use a land turtle and we talk about Raspberry Pi and all these other things. But this is very specific um, has a very specific use case, but one of the things that I really like about this, and I, I had an update when I got mine, is they can push updates over the air to this, and it is also a low power device. So you can go out here, you can check out the screenshots, you can subscribe to the updates, you can go to their blog, we'll come back to the pricing, but real quick, let's uh, hop over to the unboxing, and then we'll do a hands-on video and then we'll jump back to the pricing. And here is the Net Tools box. Let's zoom out so you can get the whole thing here. We'll take a look at this. It's not a very big box, but uh, what's inside is what's exciting. So let's get to this. Oh, here's an ink pen for size reference. So that's a standard Sharpie ink pen. So you can see that the box isn't very big. Now this is a single unit. So let's see what's in the box. 
the first thing we've got is the quick start guide. We may not follow those exactly, but we'll see what happens. Then next we have the actual net tool device itself. And everything is packaged really well. Uh, they do a really great job with the bubble wrap. So you'll see this is the net tool device itself. And it's got this little green uh, lanyard with it. So you can put it on your wrist. There's a shot of the... Uh, the business end. All right, on this side we've got a full size USB, we've got a reset button, and then we've got the mini USB, the charging port, and then back over here, once again, that is the Ethernet port. Don't forget your green lanyard. If you're walking around, put that around your wrist like a Wiimote and you won't lose it. Some more bubble wrap. Here's the best thing in the box right here this sticker. You know that I love swag. Nettool.io swag okay the next thing we have is the USB cable that ships with the device pretty standard this is a flat USB cable and it's pretty fragile there is uh, some bubble wrap on it there so we'll be careful with that and the next thing this looks like just the model sticker that's in there here's a standard USB charging brick can never have enough of these the last thing that's in the box is a one foot stranded Cat 5E patch cable. Stranded is always the way to go. Nothing else left in the box. So we'll go ahead and try to repackage everything here real quick. I don't know if it's all going to fit back in the way I pulled it out or not. A lot of bubble wrap. Make sure the sticker doesn't get messed up or anything like that. And uh, got the box closed. Here's the device. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our handy dandy Ethernet cable. We are going to plug it into the business end. Then we're going to hold the power button for five seconds and you'll see the blue LED come on. And there is the power LED. So we're going to set this down so you can get a shot of it. And I'm going to have to set something behind it because my Ethernet cable keeps twisting it around a little bit. But you'll also see here in a second the green light come on, the connectivity light. And the device is booting. And should almost be done. And we are, oh, by the way, yeah, there's that same pen for size reference on the device itself. I told you it's not very big. And there our uh, connectivity light is on, so we should be good to go. So let's hop over to the iPad and take a look. I think we're good. Okay, here we are at our iPad. First thing we're going to do is we're going to go over to the App Store. Once we're at the App Store... And it comes up. We are going to search for nettool.io, N-E-T-O-O-L dot I-O. And it may come up in the suggestions. There it is. And once it comes up, go ahead and click the install button. It'll circle around here for a second, and then it should let us install. Oops, that's embarrassing. We'll just click retry and see what happens. And now it looks like we're going to get the app. So you remember, uh, go ahead and open this, but you remember we plugged our net tool into the network. Uh, and you know what? I'm going to close this app store real quick. Goodbye. All right, now we'll open net tool. And the first thing it's going to do is it is going to search our network that we're connected to for net tools because we did not connect directly to the net tool using its built-in Wi-Fi. And there's my device. We'll go ahead and click on that. And now the net tool is figuring out what the heck is going on with the network that it's plugged into. 
and it is definitely not offline. We may just have to give it a second here. I've been messing around with it quite a bit. And there it is. You can see that it is up. We have an IP address, 192.168.66.188, the gateway of .1, DNS of .10 with a class C subnet, no native VLAN, but we do have LLDP and STP. We are on switch port number five. It cannot pull the switch uh, IP. This, like I said, this is a Unify switch. There is the host name though, Lab Switch. It was able to ping the gateway and the internet. If we go to the configuration button and we go to the Wi-Fi icon, we can change the device name. We can enable or disable access point mode, turn on encryption, all that good stuff. Now, if we go back and go to Ethernet port, we can actually here, it looks like, I'm not sure, but if I click on it, it looks like I think we can actually change that MAC address. So maybe we can do some spoofing. There's simple router mode and then also DHCP for that interface. Here's the nettool.cloud remote share. So you can turn that on and that's how you connect back to that service. If we click updates, it's going to go out and it is going to check for updates if we have internet. We are on the latest build and there's no updates. If we go back and go to toggle switches, we can turn off automatic updates. We can turn off VLAN discovery, LACP discovery, spanning tree discovery. If we go back and we look at discovery timers, this is how long the device will look for those things. So you can see 60 seconds, 20 seconds, 30, 30. All right. And we can go back and go to about and it tells us that we are on the current firmware. So if we click the history, you can see where I was playing around with this before um, and I saved a tag called test. We'll go ahead and clear this and now that's gone. And then what we can do is we can go back here and then we can click on the tag button and we will call this UBNT and click OK and click OK again and it says nice you tagged this discovery UBNT fantastic all right so we're back here and now we can click on the uh, little export button we can copy it out we can send it in an email, we can send it in a message, or we can add it to notes. So if we click add to notes, it's going to pop up here and it's going to show us exactly what it's going to copy out to a note. We can create a new note, we can append it to an existing note. And then if we click uh, this last little icon, it's going to search for more net tools. And it should only find the one that we have here. If it finds more, I'm going to be concerned. There is the one device that we are working with. So uh, real quick, let's go over to the notes section and take a look at that note that was created. And this is the first time notes has actually been opened, but here it is. It shows us the device, it shows us the time, and then it gives us all of the information that it collected. So you can see, I mean, you know, if you had to go around and actually get this information, it could be, uh, you know, it could be difficult, but this little device plugs right in. And so let's go back over that pricing. Okay, so that was our unboxing and our demo. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I am going to use this tool all over the place. Just uh, one thing to note, I was talking to the creator of the device and they have seen a need for the device to be able to authenticate if someone is using 802.1x on the switch. So that is in development that is going to be coming. Uh, updates come at least once a month. They've been coming about every two weeks at this point, and every time there's a new update, the device just gets better. So if you go over to nettool.io, N-E-T-O-O-L.io, make sure you have HTTPS on there. If you go over and you want to buy a device, 
You can see right now, it's like a single device is normally $160. You've got the team set up, which is four, and then you've got the professional, which is eight. Right now, or any time in the future, if you go over to their site and you buy a device or two devices or whatever, use the code, the coupon code, Willie How, all one word. That's W I L L I E H O W E. And that is going to get you 10% off of your order. So, once again, that coupon code is Willie How. I'll flash it on the screen, I'll put it down in the comments. So, I really look forward to working with them in the future. I really think it's going to get, you know, this device can only get better. And once they've got a platform like this, I hope to be able to help them do other things with this platform because as far as security research and things like that, you know, they've got this very workable platform. They could do some really, really powerful things. So I, I really do look forward to the relationship that I've started with them. One other thing to note is that when I ordered this, within seconds, my um, my Facebook Messenger was, was dinging and I had an order number, an order status, and I was able to follow the order. You know, they let me know when it was shipping and when it was supposed to arrive. And so the whole process was fantastic. Support, when I did have a question, I fired it off in an email and I had a response within probably 30 minutes. So I really hope you enjoy this new format of unboxing. I, I hope it's better than some of the other ones that I've done. If you like the video, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe. Please comment and share. Let me know if you have a net tool. And I will see you in the next video.